Good morning, family. As always, give thanks and praise to your Creator, whoever you may conceive your Creator to be. For me, any day above wrong is a wonderful day. Now, Shagaro is a guy I've been listening to for years, and he's really on point. I he gives a lot of information and he gives a lot of insight to things that people normally would not look at. But um, I keep telling people too that heaven is not a place to go. It's a state of being, state of mind. You can you can make yourself or you can have yourself living in a living hell or a living heaven. It all depends on how you look at your life or how you want your life to go. Now, me personally, I don't know anything. I'm still researching and still trying to remember. Still trying to remember who I am, where I came from, and why I'm here. They keep saying that we are a spirit being having a physical experience. That we don't know. That's what they keep saying. We don't know nothing. And any person keeps telling you they know everything, like I said before, run as far away from that person. Because you're always seeking to be a better person and to know exactly who you are and to research and know self. Now, this is a clip, about a five minute clip of him answering questions. Please check it out. Find the time to check it out. Much love. Thanks for subscribing. Give me thumbs up, etc. One love. Peace out. Back to heaven. Sure that you're going back to heaven. Why don't you go today? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there are many, many uh, questions, but a last one from Hiram Jani at Bees. Uh, spirituality, and I think you've just been addressing this to some extent, spirituality and religion often um, are often misunderstood at all levels. How could you explain the difference and the overlap in easy to understand terms? What is that again? And religion. Religion. Oh. See, if you say I'm religious, you naturally identify yourself as a believer, isn't it? Hello? That you believe something, whatever that is. What is belief? Let's look at this. Something that you do not know, you assume. And if ten of us assume that, this is my religion. If larger numbers happen, it becomes a big religion. But essentially, belief means you are assuming something that you do not know, or fundamentally, you are not willing to admit, I do not know. But I do not know is a tremendous possibility. Only if you see I do not know, the longing to know, the seeking to know, and the possibility of knowing becomes a living reality. Everything I do not know, I believe. Now, what is the, all the problem in this world? One man's belief versus another man's belief, religious or otherwise, yes? If you saw that you do not know, would you have a reason to fight with anybody? So if you saw you do not know, what do you do? The nature of human intelligence is such, it cannot simply sit here with I do not know, it will seek. When you become a seeker, a spiritual, Somebody who's on the spiritual path always refers to himself as a seeker. The qualification to become a seeker is you have realized that you do not know. Yes? You know that you do not know. Once you know that you do not know, seeking is not an option. It is the nature of the human intelligence. Once you really see, I do not know the nature of my existence, sitting, standing, sleeping, your intelligence will seek. You don't have to go and seek somewhere. Seeking does not mean you join a group. If you simply bring this home to you that I really do not know a thing about this life, I'm asking you, do you really know? Do you know where you come from and where you go? Hello? You no. don't know? No. <clears throat> you can bullshit yourself. Uh, I came from heaven, I'm going back to heaven. If you're so sure that you're going back to heaven, why don't you go today? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, those who are dead sure about it are doing such things, isn't it? Hello? If you knew that you are going to a better place than here, why don't you go? This is the greatest crime upon humanity, that we told people there is a better place than this. This is a crime, because this is not allowing human beings to live their life to their full depth and dimension because they think the real life is elsewhere. 
Now, do you have any proof that you are not already in heaven and making a mess out of it? Do you have any proof? None. <laughs> if you understand, if you pay enough attention to life, if you see on the surface, this is a leaf, this is a flower, this is this, this is that, everything we know. But if you pay enough attention, you don't know a thing. You really don't know a thing, not even about your own existence, isn't it? When this really comes home to you that I do not know, you're a natural seeker, you don't have to join any group, you don't have to follow anybody. You're a natural seeker in whichever way your intelligence can seek, it will start seeking. In every possible way it will seek because this is the nature of human intelligence. Seeking is not a choice. You can stop seeking simply because you make up something and you believe it. If you don't believe or disbelieve anything, you simply pay attention to everything, you will become a seeker. Because it is only human attention which opens the doors of this universe. Without a penetrating attention, nothing will open for you. But once you believe, you don't have to pay attention to anything because you know it, you know everything, how it happened and how it's going to end. I get cut off at the ending of the video, but what he is trying to say and what I try to say as much as possible, that like I said in my last video, go in the sun and enjoy the sun. Get as much sun as possible. In the summertime, take off your shoes, go sit on the grass, relax, go back into nature, look at the trees, look at the birds, and just admire how the birds just get feed from nature. They just fly and they go south in the winter, they come back up north and they just enjoy nature. And that's what we should do. Don't get caught up with the media and the news and all the BS going on around the world because that will drag, that will drag your vibration down. You know what I mean? Enjoy nature. Just turn off the cell phone, the TV, listen to some nice music and relax yourself and you will see how peaceful. I mean, listen, I can go on and on, but anyway, folks, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I love you guys now. I really do love you guys. I think thank you guys for everything you're doing. And like I keep telling you guys, you can make your life a living hell or a live in heaven. It all depends on you. Much love. Peace out. One love.